Good evening, and welcome back to 30 at 6 on Cecil TV. I'm Allison Donnelly, and today is Monday, March 25th. And I'm Rob Turnside. Allison, it's great to have you back. We missed you last week. Yeah, I know. It was, it's good to be back. High-level government work is set. <laughs> Looks like it's done well by you. <laughs> well, happy Maryland Day. Oh, that's right. Speaking of government, it is Maryland Day. Yeah, in 1634, um, the first settlers arrived in Maryland, or the province of Maryland, and um, here we are. And they came over boats from Europe, right? Yes. Right. Probably Great Britain, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. And I think they weren't they weren't they Catholic settlers? Is to start a Catholic colony or something like that? Yeah, but don't quiz me on my history. Lord knowledge. Baltimore. The name Lord Baltimore. <laughs> so much of Maryland history that we don't know. We'd fill volumes. Right. We could. And there are volumes out there, and we recommend that you read them. Or or catch thirty at six when Mike Dixon is visiting us. Mike Dixon. We miss Mike. Yeah, he'll be back in May. Great. May 6th, and actually. I always look to him for fashion guidance. <laughs> oh, maybe Which look, I need. Maybe look a little harder. <laughs> so did you have a good weekend? I did. How was yours? It was pretty good. I went to the uh, Freedom Hills Therapeutic Riding Association mm -hmm. Aloha Welcome to Spring auction. Right. And then the next day, it kind of was spring, so I went out. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm. Planted stuff, dug and hoed and worked in the garden. Yeah. How are you feeling after that? I think I might need to go see the chiropractor. <laughs> oh. We know a chiropractor. Oh, really? Yeah. Dr. Sam Charles. One you of the sponsors. Him. Yes. <laughs> Miracle worker. And that's what they say. Um, so tonight we have um, someone coming to talk to us about DroneCon, which is coming up um, April 6th. And then CecilCon is the weekend after. So we'll be talking about that tonight, oh, good. too. Good. And then we have the band Messing Around. Awesome. Yeah. A packed agenda. And I do believe there was a fire in Port Deposit, my town, over there was. the weekend. Yes. Yeah. And we'll talk about that too. And now for the news. A house on Port Deposit's North Main Street is a total loss after a dramatic blaze early Saturday morning. The occupant woke up and discovered a fire in the kitchen area. He was able to escape and call 911. Wind gusts up to an estimated 25 miles per hour contributed to the rapid spread of fire throughout the structure. The occupants are being assisted by family members. The value of the loss of the structure and contents is estimated at $105,000. In the coming days, it will be up to Governor Hogan to sign or veto the $15 minimum wage bill. Differences between the House and Senate on when the increase will take full effect for small businesses are being hammered out by a legislative committee. Under the compromise, large companies will be required to pay the new minimum by 2025 while companies with fewer than 15 employees will have till Ju July 2026 to comply. The governor has not said whether he will veto the bill, but has called it reckless and said it could be devastating to the Maryland economy. In a case with far-reaching political implications, the United States Supreme Court will hear arguments tomorrow in two high-profile partisan gerrymandering cases, including one involving Maryland's 6th Congressional District. Before 2012, the district was a Republican stronghold represented by Roscoe Bartlett. He held the seat for 10 consecutive two-year terms. Since the current map took effect in 2012, the 6th District has been represented by Democrats from Montgomery County. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> 